<laughs> is it time for recess yet? I'm so glad you found time to join us here on the Child Care Director's Chair, where Erica Sacoccio shares her best practices that she's refined through her passion of directing child care centers over the last 23 years. From parenting interaction, systems to save you time, money, and stress, to profitability. She shares it all from the Child Care Director's Chair. Hey guys, Erica here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If this is your first time on our show, I'd like to say welcome. If you are one of my daily listeners, I'd like to say thank you. If you haven't had an opportunity to already go over to Apple at the end of this episode, could you please kindly go give us a review? It really does help us um, make more content and it also helps me know what episodes you like best and what hot topics you would like us to cover. So we're going to talk today a little bit about how to create a good help wanted ad. I know so many centers are hiring and that means there are lots of ads to look through for potential candidates. So you want yours to stand out. You know, I know that we're all looking for, you know, the, the, the best teachers that we can find or the best um, auxiliary staff. And so I think it's in the details that will attract somebody right away. So you want to make sure that the ad includes the job title. When you make sure the job title accurately reflects the role and responsibilities of the position, it makes it very clear for the candidate to know what they're applying for. You also want to be able to include the company description, provide a brief overview of your company, including the mission, values, and culture, because that will really help folks know what they can expect when they apply for the job and get to an interview. You also want to have a clearly outlined job description that has the duties and expectations for the role, including any specific skills or qualifications required. Now, if there is a job that requires some qualifications, but you're willing to or have a great training program, I would mention that as well. You know, we'll train right candidate um, and then you can kind of go from there. You also want to make sure that you specify where the job is located, whether it's in-house, whether it's remote, whether it's a combination. Also, if you have multiple locations, locations like we do, you know, which location specifically would the person be working at? Or would this person be required to go to, if you had multiple locations, work at any of the locations? So if they are a floating position, you want to make sure that you outline that. And that's very clear in the job description. You want to be transparent about what the salary range is for the position to attract candidates who are a good fit financially, because that's really important. You know what you can afford in your budget and they know what they have to get as a minimum. Certainly we hope we're not going for the minimum, but a minimum, everybody has kind of a break point that they can accept. So put that right out front. That way you're not wasting their time or your time. You also want to highlight any benefits that your company offers, such as health insurance, retirement plans, paid time off, reduced childcare or free childcare. What type of health benefits do you have in terms of health and wellness, balanced life? Do you offer gym memberships or spa days or anything that will let them know that you value that healthy work-life balance. You also want to detail the work schedule, what the hours are, and if there's any flexibility or if there are remote work options available. And that would be maybe perhaps um, auxiliary staff, maybe you have the food program um, or uh, you accept childcare assistance and a lot of that work is done on a desk, uh, at a computer that can be done remotely if necessary. So you want to um, be sure that if you have that option that you mention that. And then in terms of qualification, you want to list the required qualifications such as the education, experience, or specific skills or certifications that are needed. And again, if you offer them on site, make sure you reference that. You want to clearly outline the day-to-day -day responsibilities of the role to give candidates a clear understanding of what is expected. So line that up. And the company culture, describe your company's culture and the values to attract candidates who align with your organization's thoughts and, and feelings about how we service our families. Now, something that sometimes uh, folks forget is the application instructions. So provide clear instructions on how they actually apply, including any required documents or information. Now, most places at this point are um, 
able to take applications via their website. Usually if you're a, a good company and you know that you need a careers page, um, have that on there, the careers page, and then you can just have people go to your website to apply. You get the application right away and then you can start calling people and uh, doing phone interviews. Also, if there's a deadline, specify the deadline for applications to ensure you receive timely responses from interested candidates. Because sometimes we don't do that and we just say, now hiring it, it's like forever, right? Right? So you want to give a specific timeline. That way, if you are in need of a lead teacher or a teacher assistant or a van driver, you will know what you're able to tell the candidates that you've interviewed and in terms of when you'll be getting back to them and when you're going to make a final decision. Also, the contact information. Include contact information for the hiring manager or HR department so candidates can reach out with any questions. Because a lot of times we give information on you know the job and all that, but we don't always give contact information of who could they call if they have more questions about the ad before they apply. So make sure that you include that. Of course, your equal opportunity employer statement to make sure that everybody knows and you are affirming that you are committed to diversity and equal opportunities in the workspace. And last but not least, your call to action. Encourage qualified candidates to apply by highlighting the benefits of working for your company and the opportunities for growth and development. So including those details in your help wanted ad, you can attract qualified candidates who are the right fit for your team. So happy hiring. Hope that that was helpful. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, have a great day. Well, all the cute little kiddos have been picked up and it's time to go home. And that'll do it for another episode of the Child Care Director's Chair. Please leave a review so Erica knows the information is helping you to manage and improve your child care centers. Remember to subscribe to get the latest episode from Erica's Child Care Director's Chair. <laughs>